Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Saturday the 21st of September and today is the House Mouse Collaboration Share. So this is an ongoing um, collaboration for one year. It originated with Gracie21. Hi Grace. And she had asked me in the beginning of the year to take over um, due to her health um, she has to concentrate more on what's going on with, with her health than she can with the house mouse collaboration So I agreed and it's been so much fun you guys There are about five or six ladies that are in the collaboration with us and all the information will be down below It'll there'll be links to their channels if you want to go over and check out their projects um, And then there'll be a few other little things in the description bar down below. Okay, all right, so this month I chose fall related um, stamps and the reason my stamps are like this is because I take them out of the packaging and I have a big black binder and I put them in the pockets um, and that's how I keep my house mouse. So I don't know the original names of these. Um, one of these days I'm going to look them all up and I'm going to label the, um, the binder so I can remember which one is which. So here's one. That I used and it's a little mouse he's sleeping inside the sunflower and I thought that was perfect for the fall and then I used this one here where there are two mice and they were eating pumpkin pie aren't they cute they're just so adorable I love them as long as they're on the stamps I don't like real mice I'm I'm just they creep me out <laughs> Um, so here's another little mouse and he's wrapped in his coat and it's real windy and the leaves are blowing and then and he's walking on the leaves and it's just a cold crisp uh, fall day and he's just having a blast there he's just walking through cute little fuzzy hat on with a pom-pom so cute so I used him so those are the three stamps that I used I also used my Gina Marie cross stitch dies which I always use these are my favorite dies I used the Gina Marie inside scallop frame and then I also used the zigzag rectangle shape okay and um, let me just set these all I just used for for my um, papers I just used the, my fall stash so I use papers from all different places so I'm not going to share those with you because I don't remember which pad they came from all right so the first one we're going to share is this this stamp right here with the pumpkin pie all right so here my card is I just absolutely love this card I fell in love I fell in love I just love it <laughs> so here are here's some um, orange fall colored uh, plaid papers and then I layered it with another layer here and this is a piece of paper that has pumpkins on it which you obviously can't see the pumpkins but that layer there has pumpkins on it and then this layer is a piece of embossed um, paper with little tiny dots and that's where I use the inside um, frame now I'm not sure if you can see that but here's the outside part of the frame and then you can fit the inside right back into where the grooves are so so this um, sorry it cuts like this it cuts the outside and then it cuts the middle piece but you can put the middle piece back in it if that if you know understand what I'm saying so this is so this piece is fit is fed right back into this pumpkin piece right here and that's how I did that background so it's kind of like a frame but with two different layers okay um, here's my house mouse stamp and I colored with Copics and then um, the leaves that we got at Hobby Lobby on clearance just recently. These are the leaves. And I just um, kind of placed them down the side and along the bottom. And then these fall stickers are from a sticker pack. Um, I think it was a Jolie's. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was Jolie's. And I just had the fall uh, word going down and around the bottom. <clears throat> follows the leaves and then right here this little uh, three-dimensional sticker is says grateful and then we have this burlap bow and then the my stamp is actually popped up too so that's my first card you guys and that's the inside I always do the inside now here you can see that frame a little bit better so it cuts out this part and then it will cut out the white part or the inside part 
And then when you lay it down, you just put your frame down first and then you can lay this piece right into that one and it will line back up. So you can do it different colors, the same color, um, whatever you like. I like that die and that came from Gina Marie. So um, that's how I use it in the outside, but it's a little harder to see it on the outside because of the, the papers, the colors. But yep, that's my first one, you guys, and that was with this um, House Mouse um, stamp. Um, the second card is going to be using um, this mouse, the one that's um, in the... Sorry, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Um, the one that's in with the uh, wind blowing and the leaves blowing. So this is the one that I'm going to use for this card. And here's my card. So this one I use the green plaid at the bottom at the bottom of the base and then I layered this um orange type color here with the same plaid but in a smaller version of it like this plaid the, the squares are bigger than this one and then here's a little sentiment piece that I cut out from a paper pad. I just punched it out. It was like a, one of those, you know, punch out sticker things. And I just put extra glue on the back because um, sometimes if they, you know, if they sit around a while, they don't really stick that good. So this one says fall days are the best days. So cute. I added a little bit of uh, orange and white twine and made a little bow. I put a couple enamel dots in the colors of fall, the orange, the green, the red. And then um, this is where I use those um, crazy dies, the ones that are uh, crisscross or zigzag. Um, I'm trying to grab them so I can show you. I know I just showed you, but I just want to, these here. So they're kind of zigzag. So I made, uh, the bottom layer has fall leaves. And then here's my image, color with Copics. I just love him, he is so cute. I don't know what mouse that is, but he's so adorable. And um, and then I put a little sticker down here. It's a pumpkin and a couple leaves. So I'll bring it in closer so you guys can see. And then here's the inside. And it just says crisp leaves. And that was also just a sticker. And the pumpkin and the leaves were stickers too. So that's the inside of the car. And that's the second one. And my last card for this month is using the Sunflower Mouse. And this is my card. So cute. Oh my gosh, he's a, so cute. He's just taking a little nap in the Sunflower. Um, so the back uh, paper here is a wood grain. Then I used some of that green um, checkered paper that I used in the other card. I had a strip that was left and I thought it went well for a layer down going down this way. And then I have the orange um, and white checker. It's like a plaid. I guess it's plaid. And that layer I used the cross-stitched Gina Marie dies to cut out. It has the stitching. And then the white layer where I colored my image also has the cross-stitch. It's the next size down. And then here's the little mouse. He's I color with Copics. He's sleeping in the sunflower. There's some enamel dots up here in orange, red, and uh, green. There's a little sticker here with a flower and some leaves. And then this little piece here, it says thankful and blessed. So I thought that was really cute. Bring it up so you can see it. Just adorable. And then here's the inside of the card where you can write your message. So that is my third and final card for the month. I hope you enjoyed the House Mouse collaboration here on my channel. And I'm hoping that you will go over to the other ladies and visit them and see what they created. Remember, it is 3 o'clock Eastern Time and 12 o'clock Pacific Time. So um, have a blessed day and I'm come back and see some more. <laughs> hey, I just want to just remind you too that if you missed the last... Um, house mouse collaboration videos of mine I'm not sure about the other ladies but I created a playlist and so if you click on my home page and you go to the playlist you can see house mouse collaboration and in that folder you will see all the other cards that I have created with house mouse so um, it's fun it's a great thing to, to go over and watch and um, 
yeah so all right have a blessed saturday you guys and we'll see you next time bye